<laughs> Hello and welcome to On The Couch and today we are not on a couch. We are sat at this beautiful concrete table and I'm chatting to chemistry and biotechnology student Ella McCoolin. Did I say that right? No. <laughs> I didn't say that right. Ella McCoolin. <laughs> um, on The Couch is a student-led interview series where we have crazy informal chats to see what it's really like to study at Business Academy Aarhus. We will be doing interviews with students like Ella, teachers and alumni. Take it away. Today is all about you, Ella. How does that feel? Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly like that. Overwhelming. You are our first interviewee. Does it feel good? Uh, well, I'm breaking dice, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're breaking, breaking new ground for us. Yeah. Um, let's start about what do you study so the people at home know? I study chemistry and biotechnology. Nice. And how long have you studied that for? Six months. Are you happy? Yeah. Cool. What made you decide to pick it? Um, well, I wanted to like always work in labs because I found it really fascinating uh, uh-huh. and I really like chemistry and biology. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, I have diabetes, okay. so uh, I kind of want to work on the cure for it. Okay, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so you only started a couple of months ago, eight months yeah. now. Um, what was it like starting up on your course? Because obviously you started in the middle of... Pandemic. A pandemic, which is why we are two meters apart. <laughs> what was it like? Uh, well, it was kind of weird. Uh, I was like a part of the body program project, mm-hmm. uh, but everything was cancelled because of COVID. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I would say meeting new people was kind of more difficult because of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in the end, like my class is super awesome and we all hang out all the time. So that's amazing. <laughs> That's I good. mean, not everyone at the same time, <laughs> because COVID, but... <laughs> That's good to see you've made some friends then. Yeah. Have you been, um, like, going out social? Like, what can you do in Aarhus outside of the studies then? Is there a... Well, right now, not nothing. much. Okay, nothing at all. <laughs> right now, nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so on your course, like, what kind of subjects do you do day to day? Uh, t- chemistry. <laughs> it's the, the, like, the okay. module is literally called chemical technology that's, that's one and two. One so and two. Uh, you, you just like have a few days of theory and then you're just like a week or two in okay. lab and then you have theory again and then you're again in lab mm-hmm. and it's amazing. <laughs> is it different to like, because you're from Croatia, right? Yeah. Is it different to the kind of education you get in Croatia, like related to chemistry or? Yeah, definitely. Because in Croatia, uh, there is so much just theory like Mm -hmm. first two years it's just theory no lab work at all Mm -hmm. and uh, professors are really uptight and they're like (laughs) it's terrible like they can do to you whatever they want like they can seriously yeah i know a few people who like study at the college i was planning on going if i didn't get into here Mm -hmm. um their social life is zero. Their depression is a hundred. <laughs> so okay, I think enough. I'm good here. <laughs> fair enough. So you so you like the teachers here more then? Yeah, definitely. They're super friendly. That's like, good. Yeah. Is that like because they're Danish or because of your course in general? Like, is it? Um, I think the whole Danish system is like pretty different than the Croatian one because first month I was here and I heard Danish people in my class talking to the teachers like, "Hey, yo." this and this i was just like D- uh, d- no way you can do that in croatia like n- no 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 so yeah that's awesome do you use the, the first names or sec- like the second names in croatia yeah you use second names yeah it's like professor something right yeah and then here it's like you just a son and yeah. then you just chat to them as if they're i mean there are normal human beings but as if they're, yeah, they're yeah, not teachers yeah. yeah i was i was also quite um surprised by that when i came so what's your favorite stuff you've been doing in class then recently? Is there any projects or anything um, you wake up and think, I'm so glad I'm doing that today? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no. no to that question. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, well, right now it's uh, kind of really hectic um, in the second semester, but uh, we were doing microbiology uh, okay. before chemistry now again. And that was super interesting, like growing bacteria mm. and like looking at their microscope or working with mammalian cells and stuff. That was amazing. That's really That cool. was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, that does sound really, really cool. What kind of chemistry background did you bring from your home country? And did it translate well when you came to Denmark and the kind of level that you saw? That, that uh, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I uh, studied chemistry since I was in seventh grade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and... 
I studied in high school. I studied uh, all of the subjects in English, actually. Mm -hmm. okay. So not in my language. So I kind of like had the vocabulary and everything. So it was really easy for me to adjust to here. That's good. Is it as easy for other people? Because I'm assuming you must know other internationals in the class. Um, well, my current lab partner, she's from Hungary. Uh, and for her, it was more difficult to understand all the mm -hmm. vocabulary because she studied in her own language. Mm. So she couldn't really keep up, but she did well. Mm. So it was a bit harder but you can do it you can definitely do it are the teachers good at that like do they take account for the different backgrounds of people when they're starting yeah out? yeah definitely and mm -hmm. like we like got papers of vocabulary and stuff mm -hmm. so it was fine that's good yeah. so they, they prep you basically they, they, they yeah they do they, they really good. put the effort in mm. it's really good to hear because i know with chemistry that like if you don't know a specific word, you could just like not understand the entire question, basically. Yeah, yeah. especially like with the stuff you like work in lab, like uh, flasks and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the name of it, you have no idea what <laughs> they told you to take. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can always Google it, but like, yeah. you know. I'm assuming with like the, the substances, like hydrochloric acid must be the same in other languages. Is it the same? Not really. Not at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> completely wrong. No, it's not that it's not at all, but uh, there is some that are really like similar and then some that are completely different. Okay, fair enough. Do you know many Croatian people here? Just... Yeah. <laughs> yes. So much. <laughs> like I was surprised at the amount I... It, I know like 30 of them. 30? Yeah, I know so is, many. Is that of nice? Them. Is it like being at home at in? <laughs> yeah, like my first few months, I've been only kind of only hanging out with Croatians, and there would be like, I don't know, around ten of us going to a pub and just talking, uh -huh. and uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't really leave Croatia; you just brought it back with you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, that, that's nice, I guess. Have you been able to integrate with the Danes, make some Danish friends? Get... Uh, a few, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, not as much. Yeah, but obviously lockdown isn't helping with that. Yeah, definitely not That's helping. True. Okay. I'm feeling... don't know how you're feeling about it. Okay. But I want to do some icebreaker things with you. Okay. Um, I know you studied chemistry and biotechnology. Mm -hmm. And I saw an interesting thing on the internet. Okay. Which is not the way you want to start a sentence. But I saw an interesting thing on the internet. <laughs> yeah. um, uh. <laughs> and I saw that you can put alcohol on an egg. Okay. And cook it. Amazing. Do you know much about that? No. <laughs> well, can we do it? And then you can maybe try and explain maybe why it's doing. Do you, do you know enough about it? Or I know a little bit about it now, so we can all... We'll just do it. Should yeah, we do we're, it? We're, we're just going to we'll do it. do it, it corona-friendly gonna... <laughs> in a corona-friendly manner, which means we'll take turns cracking eggs. Okay. And then take turns pouring vodka. Cool. Deal? Yeah. Let's do it. And then you've got something fun to show us, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Let's get the eggs first. Should I, should I crack the egg first? Do you, want to, you know what? You crack the egg first. Okay. And that way, if I mess up later, at least we have one good crack egg. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you think I can crack an egg well. Can you not crack an egg? This I might be the issue. <laughs> 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 okay, wait. Where do I... In, into, the, into those glasses, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put a mask on just stand by you. That makes sense. <laughs> See, that was good. You're a chef. <laughs> uh... I mean, I do I'm some baking. Okay. And I'll crack it as well. There's a lot of pressure on me right now. <laughs> it looks really tasty. Okay. How can I? I'm not. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> Familiar with vodka. The cheapest vodka you can buy. <laughs> We've got no branding, so if you want to sponsor us, if you want to sponsor us, then uh, <laughs> sponsor us for vodka. No, please don't. <laughs> we'll cut that out. Um, I'll pour into my little shot. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Pop that right there. You can kind of already see it starting, can't you? Yeah. It went from like see-through. You can s compare it. Yeah. Already. With the the yellow of that, and then how it's turning white already with the vodka. Okay, that's really cool. I actually think the vodka didn't penetrate the um, shop. Swirl. Okay, I'm a fan of that. Do you want to put you some vodka in yours? Okay. I'm trying to do it in a. I 
And here's something I never thought I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, we'll pop this away for later. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I guess we just let that sit and slowly, slowly, slowly cook an egg. Mm, yeah. I'm actually a huge fan of that. That's honestly a waste of vodka if you ask me, but... <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. No, definitely cool. It's denaturing all the proteins, get it in there. That's really fun. Please cut that out, I don't, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong, we are giving you bad side effects. <laughs> I think, I think, I Google it, and I think it's something to do with the, the alcohol is reacting with the albumin protein in it. I don't, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, yeah. don't okay, protein's next semester. Uh, actually, do you learn about it? No, we were doing something with eggs uh, like a month ago. Not with uh, vodka, though, we probably. Were, no, <laughs> no, definitely not with vodka. Yeah. But I can't remember anymore. Okay. You guys make beer in your education though, at some point, right? Do you make beer? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, you can do that on third semester. Okay. As like a elective subject. Okay, that's cool. You gonna do it? Uh, no, because I want to do biotechnology, so I can uh, mm -hmm. work on stuff like this. Yeah. We'll use that as a good transition. Okay. You mentioned earlier um, about your diabetes. Yeah. And you've got something to show us today. Yeah, a few things. Could we maybe see what you've got to show us? And like, yeah. you know what, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it first before we okay. get into it. Yeah. Um, you mentioned diabetes earlier. Yeah. And you said it influenced your decision to choose the subject. Can you maybe say yeah. how it influenced your decision? Uh, because um, in the month it's going to be 10 years that I have it. Okay. And uh, it's sometimes it's like really hard to deal with because mm -hmm. you're with it every day and you have to take shots at least four times a day. Mm -hmm. And that can be really, really annoying. Mm. So I kind of just want to find a cure so people don't have to deal with that because there's a, like, a lot of people in the world with diabetes actually, mm. like surprising amount. Mm. And what type of diabetes is it? Uh, type one. Type one. Yeah, so actually, um, Till you're like 35-ish, mm -hmm. you get type 1. And okay. then from 35 to later, you get type 2. Which is one where you've uh, So type 1 is not curable. Mm -hmm. Type 2 is. Type 2 is more connected to your lifestyle. So your uh, food intake, your exercise and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas type 1 is just your pancreas decided to not produce insulin anymore and... Um, your F, I'm correct, your uh, white blood cells um, actually attack your insulin cells because they, for some reason, see them as um, like the enemy in the body. That sucks. Yeah. It's the best way I can put it, apparently. That's why it's autoimmune disease. Yeah, okay. And so that affects you day to day because you have to take four. At least four shots, mm -hmm. uh, your sugar can go low, just like that, and then you have to like sit down for 30 minutes, eat something. Mm -hmm. So you always have to have something to eat in your bag. Mm. I don't have something to <laughs> eat in my bag now, which is not good. <laughs> We've got some snacks where you can eat, so you can Great, have that. amazing, thank you. <laughs> um, or it can like go really high, and then you're just like really sleepy and not feeling like doing anything. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. And since like when I didn't have the sensors, because this is like relatively new, mm -hmm. um, you had to like actually uh, like stab yourself in the fingers as well. Mm -hmm. So that was also like at least four times a day. So now you have like eight times a day, you just like shooting yourself up <laughs> yeah. with something. Uh, so yeah, it was really annoying. Yeah, I can imagine. I definitely can imagine. Um, and you plan to work on this then? Is there yeah, I'm gonna be a crazy scientist that's just trying to, you know, just like shooting up with the different experiments. Yeah. Okay. So. Whatever there is, you'll try it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's dangerous. Not that we can recommend other people to try that, but yeah, don't, 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 definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good that you, you want to, you want to do something like that. Yeah. Could you maybe show us some of the the hardware, like the stuff you carry around with us yeah, day to day? Awesome. Lots of different things. Yeah. Is that I, what you carry around with you all the time or is it... Different? No, I just carry this with me all the time. Okay. Run us through it. Explain what's happening and... Okay, so here is a case where I hold all my insulins. Mm -hmm. So... This is the insulin I take before every of my meals. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a 
normal pen. It looks like a pen. You open it up. Mm -hmm. And not all of this is a needle. It's just this little part. Still looks scary, but okay. <laughs> no, it's really not. Um, so yeah, basically the insulin is there. You just like do this and then take whatever amount you need to take and then you just shoot it up. Okay. And you find out the amount you need to take based off your... Uh, based on my sugar, uh, the amount of stuff I'm eating, and then I just uh, calculate how much carbohydrate that is, and then I take okay, the wow. amount of insulin I need. Four times a day? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's as many times a day as you eat. So, mm, okay. Or if your sugar is high for no reason, then mm. as well. Um, this is my night insulin. Mm -hmm. So I take this like around 10 p.m. Mm. and it's to keep my sugar from going up and down all the time mm. because it's better to just be in a straight line. Okay. That and this is if uh, my sugar goes too low and I pass out. So someone else can grab it and... Uh, so the way it works is you literally... Uh, this one is scary. Um, looks like this. Uh-huh. And... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you have the instructions here. Okay. So basically, th what you have to do if I pass out okay. is uh, <laughs> I have to lay it on my side uh -huh. so Oops. that I don't choke on my tongue. And uh, you just take this. Uh, here's the sugar mm -hmm. inside. Uh, actually, yeah. And here you have some liquid inside. And then you just put it in, shake it, put it back into the needle. And then you just like stab me <laughs> and push, push just anywhere in. or uh, in a muscle in the leg. Okay. And the thing is, like, it can go through all the clothes, so yeah, you just do it. That's so funny. I've never heard of that before. Because like, you'd think something like that that could save someone's life. A lot yeah. more people should know that. Yeah. Well, now you know. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> now you <laughs> now, know. <laughs> now I can be there, I guess. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so here's the little like needle that is used to actually take the uh -huh. blood out of your uh, finger. Um, and these are the uh, strips, test strips, where you put the blood in. Mm. And I just realized my sensor is in my back, in my uh, jacket. Okay. And this is your... <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the uh -huh. sensor, basically. I mean, it's the thing where you... I don't know the English name for it. That's the thing. <laughs> what is it in Croatian? I just call it apparatic. <laughs> That's close, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, basically. Say it again? Apparatic. The apparatus. Apparatus? It, it sounds like it. It can be, yeah. It's, yeah. It's the you can call it that. Um, basically, yeah, you put the test strip uh, inside here. Uh -huh. It like lights up and uh, tells you to, that you can put the blood um, inside mm -hmm. and then you wait like three seconds and it shows you uh, your sugar level okay. or if you have a sensor uh, you just do like this and it's it over there. Uh, this one is dead I okay. have to put on a new one do you want to do it I can I nice. have a new one here. <laughs> so um, I can show you the way you take it off as well yeah to go feel free. basically you just take it off is it like a needle inside of you? Yeah. That sounds painful. It's not because it's a plastic needle, oh, but okay. the needle that is used to put the plastic in is a real needle. Um, so yeah, it's a little gross, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, basically, that's it. Awesome, and they can't be reused, they have to be thrown out, I guess? No, it lasts two weeks, and then you have to put on a new one. Awesome. And it's preferred to like switch the arms every two weeks. That makes sense. So yeah. To give it some time to heal. Yeah. Basically, you open it up, you have the instructions that I don't need anymore because <laughs> I've been using this for five years. Um, you have two um, alcohol wipes to disinfect the area you're going to put the sensor in. Mm -hmm. So basically, you just take it and then you just like choose where you're going to put it and kind of wipe it like that. And while that's drying, you just prepare everything else. Really wish I could help you, but I can't. No, not to. it's <laughs> okay. Um, so this is oh. how it looks now. Awesome. I don't know. Like... Do, do I show it to the camera? Yeah, show it to the camera as well. Okay. Maybe. 
I don't know if you can see that. But it's a little okay. like um thing you just boop. Uh yeah, but first so you light it up with the uh -huh. line it up with the, this. Press it here and now you have the sensor and the needle. Uh, okay. Like this. And then you just do it like this and you just press it on. And that's it. Wow. I really want to give a round of applause for that. That's so cool. <laughs> that was really, really cool to see. And then you just take the uh, thingy. And this is telling me that my old sensor is done. And then you just press start new sensor. And then it looks like this. Uh -huh. And you just do it like this. And then I have to wait an hour for it to um, sync up with the sensor. That must really like motivate you when you're sat in chemistry and biotechnology to like take it seriously because you can see like the impact that yeah knowing... definitely yeah definitely so and like all of this is uh i mean not all of this but like insulin is produced in novo nordisk which is the danish company mm -hmm. and um this uh academy actually uh works with novo nordisk so i can apply for internship there mm -hmm. Which would be awesome, because <laughs> if I get internship there, then it's like a way higher chance for me to stay there and work there. Uh -huh. Because, I mean, they're going to spend a year on teaching me how yeah. to do stuff, so it would only make sense. Yeah, and I guess... I hope. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and I guess you've got like the whole motivated reason to work there, so... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that'd be really, really awesome. Yeah. So, if you could give some advice to some other people, maybe in Croatia or in other countries outside of Denmark, who are looking to come and study chemistry, what, what could you tell them, like, whether they, to advise them to come here? Like, Do it, for sure, you're not going to regret it. <laughs> That's like, I, I mean, I don't know what more I can say, because it's, for me, it's really worth it. I mean, I had a really, really uh, positive experience moving here. So, yeah, okay. it's just... You're probably going to have to blur all of this, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been You're awesome welcome. To Thank you. you for inviting me. Absolutely. <laughs> um, these are our eggs. Should we do anything with the eggs before we're done? Should we drink them? Oh, there's too much vodka in this drink. Uh, you should definitely not drink <laughs> the egg unless you're an Oprah singer. But, <laughs> but they did cook. Slightly. <laughs> I disagree. They slightly cooked. I'd eat that. I'd definitely eat that. Can we? I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. I'm gonna pour out some vodka. You're gonna do it with me? Just me? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna watch you regret this one. <laughs> There's still some vodka in there. This has been <laughs> On the Couch with Ella, who studies chemistry and biotechnology, who one day wants to work at Nor Nordisk? Yeah. Nor Nordisk to help develop the cure for diabetes. Um, Tune in next time, where we will hopefully not be trying raw egg. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> oh, it could have been worse. <laughs> no shit, it's raw egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my you god. need a tissue, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would help you, but I have no idea where anything Ooh, here That is. was kind of nice. I could do that. What's wrong with you? It's <laughs> good. Do you want to just give a wave to the camera? Say goodbye. Bye. Thank you for this time. <laughs>